what in the hell is going on, my fellow home brewing homies? First of all, Happy New Year. It is Christmas Eve, 2006. Christmas Eve, yeah. Happy New Year, it's Christmas Eve. Let's try that again. Happy New Year, it is New Year's Eve, 2016, but it is 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, so it's really Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's really New Year's Eve morning. All right. Good to go. So chin chin. I'm having a homebrew, but this is a homebrewed coffee. Not really just a normal plug it in the percolator and go. Interesting freaking video we're going to do today. See, I fucked up. And I'm spelling that F-A-W-K. So that it's, you know, totally uh, acceptable on YouTube. Um, recently, keg and some beer. And uh, some of my viewers were so kind to uh, point it out. And uh, they were 100% correct. So I'm going to let you take a clip of me kegging this beer. Um, I'm going to see if you see it. Uh, you probably will. Uh, because I was a dumbass for not um, having picked it up. Um... Anyway, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it after you watch this clip. So check out this clip. Check me out doing the wrong shit and telling you to do it, uh, which is pretty stupid. Um, but hey, it's all part of the deal. So we'll talk about that in a sec. Check out this clip. Let me know what you think. There we go, guys. Pretty slick Rick contraption here. This is the... Uh, Cooper's um, DIY kit that I highly recommend if you're doing, you know, 23 to 19 liter brews. This thing's badass. You get all the sediment drops underneath the spigot, which is awesome. And for doing the keg, man, you can't get any easier than that. We'll get a little bit of bubbling. So, that was pretty stupid on my part. Did you catch it? You must have caught it because it's so blatantly obvious that, uh, you would think I was drunk when I did that video. Anyhow, here's the deal. What did I do wrong? For those of you who haven't caught it yet, it's okay if you didn't catch it because, like I said, I did the damn thing. So, I can't uh, make fun of you too bad. My phone's flashing. That's why I'm hesitating. I'm wondering what the hell's going on here. Anyway, what did I do wrong, guys? Um, obviously, I put the keg under the uh, spigot on the Cooper's um, primary fermenter. And just turn the bad boy on. Just let her all fly like she was Niagara Falls. Just whoosh, just a big freaking waterfall. And then what happens, guys? It stirs up the ward, it gets all frothy, it oxidizes, oxygen gets into it. What should never get into beer when you're making beer unless you're ready to consume the some bitch? Oxygen. Big, big screw up. So, what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna drink it. Um, we're going to still go at her, see how she tastes, uh, tune back in with the taste test of the what not to do beer. Um, I did, after it was pointed out by a couple of my viewers, I did go and uh, purge the keg that already has the wort and all that shit in it. Um, I purged it with some CO2. Um, I basically just turned her up to, I don't know what I turned it up to, about 30 PSI I believe it was. And uh, just blasted it into the keg, um, pulled the uh, vent on top of the keg, let it out, did it again, shook the keg up a little bit, get the uh, CO2 in there. It's heavier than air, so I'm hoping if there's anything in there and if I haven't totally fucked the beer up, then uh, I was able to get the oxygen out. And we're going to see how it goes, but what should I have done and what I'm going to do, because I've actually got another uh, 23 liters of the keg, going to do it either uh, today, uh, maybe um, probably not tomorrow because as I said, it is New Year's Eve and I'm going to be hung over tomorrow because um, I'm sure I'll consume copious amounts of homebrew this evening. Uh, so this weekend sometime I have to uh, keg the, uh, the remaining uh, beer that I have. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's an ale of some sort. Of course it is. I think it's a red ale. Um, don't matter. So I'm going to do that this weekend and when I do I'm going to use a hose. Okay, so you attach a hose onto the... Um, the, uh, the the spigot on the fermenter or if you don't have a uh, Cooper's kit 
Um, you should probably get one, uh, but if you don't have one of those fermenters, um, actually, actually, the one that I'm brewing is not in a Cooper's fermenter, so I'm going to use my racking cane, which just has a siphon, and the hose goes down into the keg, nice and gentle-like. No turbulence, no oxidizing of the beer. Um, and it's so stupid because, I mean, I, 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 I rack wine all the time and all this crap, but, you know, like I said, I've only been kegging for... Uh, probably about six months and I think that was the second one I did with sugar um, usually when you do it with CO2 the uh, you should still use a hose no question but I guess my rationale when I first did it with CO2 was that once you fill up the keg you're then going to purge it with CO2 and blast blast any air that's in there is going to be shot out through the top at least in my theory I'm sure one of my viewers will correct me again if I'm wrong there but that's what I got for you guys that is what not the hell to do by Big Rob have yourself a rockin' New Year's Eve guys drink all kinds of freaking homebrew we'll see you on the next videos Big Rob signing out later